Hi friends! This is Lacey with Peace House Art and today I'm doing something a little different with my video. I've had many requests to do a voiceover or talk through video so I decided what better video to start with than an unboxing video. My shipment from Miniature Suite arrived recently all the way from Hong Kong so keep watching to see what I got. I'll have a link to their online store at the end of this video and also in the description box below. Since my items were shipping from Hong Kong and I'm in the United States, it took a few weeks to arrive, but everything showed up intact and packaged well. If you're not domestic, you have to order at least $150 of items for free shipping. I didn't order that much, so my shipping was around $20. Of course, there is an option for faster shipping you can choose if you're in a rush. I've been eyeing a lot of their molds lately, as you will soon see, so I couldn't resist buying several. All of the molds I purchased are made out of silicone. I'll have a few photos at the end of the video to show you some things I've already made with what I bought. Just so you know, I wasn't sponsored in any way by Miniature Suite and bought all of these items for my own use. The first item I'm looking at is this silicone miniature candy bar mold. Because the inside of the mold is shiny, it will produce shiny resin castings every time. I can't wait to make little chocolate bar jewelry and keychains with this. Next, I'm opening this adorable mermaid tail mold. I've already made two tails with this and I am so in love with the results. I'll share some photos at the end of the video along with a coupon code so you can get your own. This was less than $5 so I'll probably be buying a few more soon. Next, a cute little kawaii ghost mold because it's October and why not? Then, a little square cube that I'll probably use for tiny seascapes or aquariums. Up next are three dinosaur molds. a T-Rex, a Stegosaurus, and an Apatosaurus. I bought these to make for my niece, but they would be adorable little pendants too, don't you think? Which dinosaur of these is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Next, a cute little heart that I think would be adorable with some tiny letters embedded in them. Do you have any ideas for words or phrases to include in my first heart casting? I grabbed one of these sphere molds for less than $4 and I can't wait to experiment and see what I can come up with. The silicone allows for quick cleanup. Properly cured resin will peel right off. Next, some glow in the dark blue sand to make glowing beach scenes and some iridescent faux opal flakes. They're so sparkly and I'm sure they'll look just like opals when embedded in resin. Here, I've got a triangle mold that makes a total of seven tiny triangles. Six of them have one hole and one has two holes. I've already made some of these and they are tiny. They're about the size of a dime each. Next, some unique jewelry findings. Some flower clasps, leaf eye pins, lever back earring hooks, some glue on heart bales, and three types of ring bezels, silver and antique bronze cups, and flat bronze bases. I prefer the cups for making my tiny painting jewelry. Next up is a tea light candle holder or tiny bowl mold. Then I got three different glitters. First is this gorgeous holographic glitter that looks amazing in resin. Next is this iridescent diamond confetti, which I used in one of my mermaid tails. And finally, this dark green glitter. Then I got another assorted set of glitters and pearl powders. Pink, yellow, orange, white, this neon lime green, blue, a rose color, and light blue. And then two pearl colors in gold and a mink brown. Next, I got both sizes of the faceted quartz and crystal molds. I'm so excited to try these out. Thanks to my friend Jackie for finding the link to these. She makes awesome greeting cards and other products, so check her out at zazzle.com slash jh underscore designs. 
I think I'll brush some of my glitters and pearl powders into these molds before I add my resin. Then I got some dotting tools because I like to sculpt with polymer clay in addition to painting, and they can also be used for dot mandala paintings. Then some silicone sculpting tools for clay that I've also already used for resin jewelry, such as when adding inclusions. Just like with the molds, the cured resin peels right off. I got a surprise bag of free things as well, and who doesn't love free? But here's their card first if you're interested in browsing their product. Use these codes to get a percent off your sale. The extra molds I received are a dog, a swan, a heart, a rabbit, an Eiffel Tower, and a flower. They also sent some tiny little nail art cane slices that will look great in resin jewelry. Some rhinestones and different size and color pearls. And a little bag of random cute stickers. Last but not least, several tiny polymer clay canes. Here are some photos of my mermaid tails. I still have to sand them and dome the back, but aren't they cool? The shimmery effect comes from brushing the powders on the mold itself. Here's a photo of the holographic glitter in a pendant casting. Well, how did I do for my first voiceover video? I had to write a script in order to stay on track and not laugh through the whole thing, and those of you who know me will understand this well. What do you think about my haul? What should I create next? If you like this video, or even if you didn't like it, please give me some feedback in the comments. I'd love to know how I can make my videos better for you. If you want to support my mission and my art, please consider doing so on Patreon. I'll add a button for it on your screen somewhere, and the link will be below. As always, click subscribe for more art videos and to stay connected with Peace House Art, healing the world one piece of art at a time. Bye, friends!